Hey darling. I just spent nine minutes talking at the camera about an event that happened at work last night and then I decided I'm just gonna, I'm gonna spare you all details and um, I'll call you and talk with you about it. Um, but had me a little fucked up. Had me a little fucked up to say the least. That being said. Um, it's always good to come to your mat um, in times of uh, feeling a little fucked up. So, mm. um, I'll tell you more details later. So, go ahead and ground down through your seat. Let the crown of the head lift high to the sky. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then big exhale through the mouth. And then again, big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Two more big breaths. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Setting up our practice in the space of gratitude, we give gratitude to the universe, just recognizing that energy that's bigger than us that we're still collectively a part of. We give gratitude to this earth, which reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. We have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of the lands that we're seated upon from the lands to Missoula, the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, the Lakota tribes, the Kalispell, the Ponderay. Acknowledge and letting ourselves a land acknowledgement. It's just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing, both thought, word, and in deed. We have gratitude for this practice of yoga because it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We're kind and honest, generous and just. And we give gratitude to black and brown peoples, the original creators and sustainers of this practice. The space of ahimsa, also known as loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations and transgressions, and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. And if you're a person, there's a person or a person, place or places, that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, you can draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale and pull them all the way down into your heart center. And then exhale, send them up. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes. Allow yourself just to come back into the room and into the space, just kind of casually. Glancing around, noticing any detailing that maybe you haven't noticed prior. And then slowly turn and look out past your left shoulder. You roll your right shoulder blade down and back. And then slowly move your chin through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Roll your shoulder blade down and back. Crown head lifts. Slowly bring yourself all the way back to your center line. And then inhale, arms come high. Exhale, flip and press. Let's inhale, arms high. Exhale, press. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Ground down through your palm and sweep your opposite arm up and over. And then pull yourself through your center line. Same thing on the opposite side. Bring yourself all the way back to your center line. Inhale, arms high. 
come down to that opposite side that you just did. Pull and then sweep yourself forward. Serve the earth. Same thing on that opposite side. And serve the earth. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands to your heart center, and then roll over your knees and chins if your knees are feeling good, or if they're not still feeling 100%, kick your legs out to the side and bring yourself into um, your tabletop. Wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Exhale, press and round into your cat, and then inhale. Let your belly drop and hang in your cow. Exhale, press and round in your cow. Inhale into your cow. And then take your hands forward as you drop down through your chest, bringing yourself into your puppy pose. Big inhale here. Curl your fingers out in front of you. Big toes come together to touch. Breathe. Nice deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, big inhale through the nose. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale. Slowly shift your hands back ever so slightly and then pull your heels in towards your glutes. And then send yourself back. Inhale, pull yourself forward. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, pull yourself forward. Breathe into the base of the belly, exhale, send it back. Back into your child's, curl your fingers together, take your hands into prayer, put a bend in your elbows and take your thumbs back behind your head to the nape of your neck, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. Exhale, bring yourself forward onto your knees and then you're going to swing your forearm out and you're going to bring yourself and rock yourself right into a forearm plank. Big inhale here. Exhale, step your foot back and lift through your hips, come into a little forearm wild thing. And then bring yourself through your center line, same thing on that opposite side, swing that opposite left hand to your right elbow, step yourself back into your forearm plank and then right into your little wild thing. Lift yourself out of your shoulder, and then bring yourself all the way back. Hold here, little shifts forward and back for eight, seven, six, five, or four, three, two, and one. Drop down to the knees. Take yourself back into your child's pose. Then slowly walk your hands back in towards your knees. You're gonna shift yourself up, tuck your toes, and take your sit bones back down towards your heels. And then your hand comes to your heel, and swoop, right hand to heel, to right heel. And then sweep left hand up, dancing camel, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Slowly flow through this for three, for two, and for one. So we bring yourself all the way back. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, untuck your toes. Bring your big, your knees together to touch. Then slowly bring yourself all the way down and over at the tops of your thighs as the pinky fingers hit the mat. You breathe into your back body, coming into your half tortoise. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, grip onto your mat, shift yourself forward, tuck your toes, and then send your hips back and high down dog. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, tiptoe your feet up to meet your hands, top of the mat, let yourself hang heavy. And then inhale, sweep yourself high out of the sky. Breathe into the base of the belly, and then exhale. Hands are gonna move down to your heart line. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, 
Bend the knees and step your feet back at the plank, press back through the heels, shift it forward, little shuffles for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower and hover this time, then inhale. Roll over the big toes and then set your hips back and high down dog. Pedal it out. Right leg, high to the sky. Spot your right thumb. Step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Left toes hop out and over. Drop down to your back left knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale, take your right hand down past your right hip and lift through your left fingertips. And then pull yourself all the way back. Take your hands down to the earth and tuck your toes and your hips back into your half split. Check in with your hip though. Try not to bring your sit bone all the way down to your heel, but rather catch that release in the back side of your calf, your thigh, your knee, big inhale. And then exhale slowly, bring it forward, turn your toes out, plant through your left palm and rock to the outside of your right foot as you open up to the outside of your ankle. Big inhale here, and then pull your knee back to your center line, and heel toe your foot across, and bring yourself down into a half pigeon. Big inhale, hold here. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Back to the outside of your foot. You're gonna swing that left knee and that mirroring you all the way around to stack onto the top of your right thigh, coming into horse face. Big inhale here. And then exhale down and over the tops of the thighs. Check in with the outside of your hip. Exhale, hold. One more big breath. And then exhale slowly, pull yourself all the way back up. You're gonna release that leg and swing it back. So you're gonna come out of the posture the same way that you went in. Plant your palms. Go ahead and lift yourself off of that knee and step right foot back, finger hips right back into the down dog. Left leg high to the sky, big inhale here. Spot your left thumb, lift up your left foot up to meet your left hand, right toes hop out and over. And then inhale, low crescent lunge. Pull yourself into it. And then exhale, send your hips back into that half split, tuck your toes, pull your toes in towards your face as you try to pull back through that left hip. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale, and then walk yourself forward, plant your right palm, swing your left toes out. Rock to the outside of your left foot. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your hips back to your center. Heel till your left foot across your mat. Bring yourself down into that half pigeon. Big inhale here. Lift through your heart and chest. And then lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, two more, inhale up. Exhale down, one more time, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Breathe. Bring yourself all the way down and around into your assorted pigeon. Two big breaths here, big inhale. And exhale, one more time, big inhale. And then exhale, pull yourself all the way up to the rock to the outside of your left foot. And then you're gonna swing your right leg over and you're gonna pull your right knee to stack on top of your left. Coming into horse face on this side, big inhale here. And then exhale, pull down and over the tops of your thighs. Engage your low belly, pull it up and in, big inhale. And exhale. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. 
and exhale. Last one, big inhale. Exhale, pull yourself all the way back. You're gonna swing that leg back behind you. Bring yourself back into that half pigeon, tuck your toes. Press yourself up, sip your foot back, send your hips right back into your down dog. And then from here, felt the outside of your pinkies and put a big bend in your knees on your exhale, hop. Feet wide, sit it low, hands to your heart line. Allow yourself just to kind of swish and sway back and forth, side to side. And then bring yourself all the way down. Bring yourself all the way down and onto your back. Send the soles of the feet high to the sky. Start your flex through your toes. And then pull your knees up into your chest and give yourself a nice big hug with your chin to your chin, and push your chest. And bring your forehead to touch your knees. And slowly release. Let your legs move all the way down to the end of your mat. Bring yourself down and into your shavasana. Your hands can rest on your belly or down at your sides. Allow yourself just to breathe here. Big inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the nose. Different book for us today, one that's here at the studio. So just to breathe. So this is from the Tao of Now, um, a daily wisdom from mystic sages, poets, and saints by Josh and Bard. There. On my desk, I have a tiny framed photo of my father with his arms around me, standing next to a telescope at what is a clearly a highway pull off in Vista Point. The note on the back of the photo reads, Lookout Mountain, wind of New York, July 12th, 1939. So I'm three years old. I know that he and I stood at many similar viewing scopes during my childhood. So I assume that my memory of his instruction for seeing clearly is a conflated one. I remember it as Look with your eyes, Sylvia. Keep them open and stand in front of the two lenses right here. Otherwise, you won't see clearly. Maybe this was the most important, important part. Look now, my father would say. Because we'll have to leave soon. I know we've missed it. Here is the instruction. Only connect wherever you are right now. Pay attention forever. So be a born scene. And don't forget that forever is always now. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Divine light, divine feminine, divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine love in you, dear Jane, and anyone tuning in collectively in all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your body, heart, spirits, and souls. Um, if you found this practice useful, there's a place that you can give in the captions below um, so we can continue to offer pay what you can classes um, in the community um, and to continue to host series like this one. Um, in order to make sure that we increase accessibility for yoga everywhere. Thanks so much, everybody. And um, when you do leave your mats, be sure to come in peace. And as always, oh, serve well. Always. <laughs> all right, y'all. Yeah. Peace and love to you. I hope to see you all soon.